I congratulate two female-owned businesses in Warringah who were successful in the Boosting Female Founders Grant, Lactamo Holdings, for their successful funding to respond to international demand for their breastfeeding massage ball, and Meditati for the commercialisation of their tampon innovation. The Boosting Female Founders Grant has nevertheless been challenging for many, with delays and poor communications leading to many applicants and grant recipients incurring unnecessary costs. Applicants have described this grant as breaking female founders and a slap in the face. One of my constituents, Emma Jones of Project F, is one of the many applicants that has had a negative business impact due to the poor communication and lapsed timelines um, in relation to the project and the grants. So even successful applicants have said the process has undermined their business and cash flow. We must do better when private sector investors overwhelmingly support all male startups, with only 4% of funding going to all female startups and 62% going to all male teams in 2023. So the gap still has a long way to go to be closed. So I call on the government to do more to support female entrepreneurs, particularly in the upcoming budget. It's really important that this grant program of boosting female founders' grant deliver on its promise and expectation and boost women in business.